Oh, g'day. Today's um, Monday the 10th of September 2018 and we've been dry here. We've had no rain for uh, none at all last month. The month before 10 mil and I can't remember what we had the month before that but basically we've had three months with no rain at all and I'm just going to uh, get some silage and feed the cows. We're feeding quite a lot at the moment because there's no green grass much and all the grass we do have is hayed off a lot and so we're feeding silage and molasses and a few other you know like uh, additives you know sulphur, uh, DCP, salt etc. We haven't got had any losses and none are you know that skinny they're going to die or anything so everything's quite okay. So here I am, I got the bars on the back of the ute and um, the cattle are all waiting to get fed. So what I do is I put a strap up around the bale and then I, um, come on girls, what's wrong old girl, I'll give this one a pat so we can, they're pretty quiet. And there we got a little, she's got a little, this one, oh, this padding's got a little calf down here. Yeah, so, I'll just go and get past this cow. <coughs> Look out, girls. So, we, oi! <laughs> the cow whacked the camera and closed the lid. So, yeah, so I put this strap around the tree, and then I'll drive off and that'll pull it onto the ground. So I'll drive off now and you'll see how that works. I put out the second bale and that's why we put it on the hill because it rolls down the hill and rolls out and they don't have to fight over the bale but it was really funny. One cow she chased it and started to buck and she was really excited about it for some reason. So when the bale rolls out you can see it's much more convenient for the cows to actually be able to um, feed off it. You can see here, this old girl's got tick, a tick on her. See, there's ticks. Oh, girl, oh, girl, oh, 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 oh. And she doesn't want to stand still, but you can see the ticks on the back of her there. You see here on the other side. You can see a couple there too. That's why we worm them and stuff. The worming stuff will stop the ticks as well, but obviously with it being dry, the ticks get worse. You see one down here on a belly. They get worse as it get, when it gets dry. Here we've got more ticks on another animal. Here we've got a couple of ticks that I've pulled off the cattle they're full of blood and if you watch for a while you can probably see their little legs are going and you can see how they're quite alive if you look at this one this is the front of this one and you can if you look closely you can probably see his legs going and if I put my finger on him and go like that he's squashed Take that, you bastard tick. So, that's how I like to see ticks. So they, they've sucked up the cow's blood and they also inject a poison into the cattle or whatever they eat or the human or whatever they attack. And if the cattle aren't immune to it, it'll kill them eventually. So, uh, they cost the cattle industry millions every year in losses, uh, both not only killing the cattle but making the cattle not put on weight and making them sickly and it's a big issue in Australia. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.